We're here in one of the neighborhoods where you can expect to see a heavy police presence in hopes to get guns off the streets. In the meantime, we spoke with the chief of the department and he talked about being attacked and what he's going to do moving forward. His injuries are right there and on his finger. Chief Terrence Monahan will heal, but he says what's adding more pain to his injuries is the man accused of attacking him and his officers on the Brooklyn Bridge is out on the streets due to bail reform. Judge decided to let him out. Let him out, uh, no bail, at least on his own recognizance. If you were assaulted on the streets, you wouldn't want justice. You wouldn't want to have to look at that same individual the next day. I may be walking down to City Hall Park right now, and he may be sitting there ready to fight another cop. The chief tells PIX11 he's not blaming the revolving door court system as much for the spike in gun violence. Instead, there's a lot of animosity going out on the streets. Monahan says that animosity against police has a lot to do with what's going on. He says personally he tried to cool anti-police sentiments by taking a knee at a protest in June. So what happened on the Brooklyn Bridge was shocking to organizers of the Unity March. Yes, the police department have some inadequacies. We recognize that. We want to be treated as every other community. Some community leaders say a small group of anti-police protesters can't speak for the entire city. We're not here to challenge the police. We're here to challenge the inequities that are happening in our community. We had to challenge the violence that's taking place in our community. The violence is weighing heavy on police and the community. Both sides may not see eye to eye on everything, including some of the police reforms. We asked the chief about the behavior of some of his officers, in some cases playing out in videos that have gone viral on social media, like this one showing an officer punching a man who refused to leave the subway. It has the community outraged. They're saying, hey, officers are trained. They're supposed to de-escalate. What about that behavior? That's probably the reason why we have animosity. You have to take what you see on social media with a grain of salt. It's snippets. It's a small piece of what happened. It is not the whole story. And listen, am I going to say officers are always correct when they do things? No, they're not. And when they don't do things right, there are consequences. And you can expect to see that partnership build between the community and police. In the meantime, community leaders say it was the voice of the community that helped police make an arrest in the death of the one-year-old. Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.